Finding out about the three types of liars is like going on an exciting trip into the labyrinth of human behavior, from the subtleties of body language to the complicated dance between spoken words and hidden intentions. It's like entering a maze. To navigate the world of ethics, you have to look at more than just good behavior. It would help if you looked at deception, corruption, crisis, and problems. We can't just focus on the good. We must also deal with the bad, ugly, and scary things. Lies are wrong from a moral point of view because they make us less human. If we were okay to lie, society would fall apart. Even billing rates would be hard to agree on if people always lied. Lies go against logic and compassion, making them especially bad from an ethical point of view. There are three main types of lies, and each needs a different way of acting morally to deal with them. Ethicists and psychologists study deception, but I use everyday words to make things easier to understand. Still, one thing is clear. You you can't change a liar's character. You can limit the damage they do and lessen the effect of their cleverness, but you can't change who they are at their core. Your goal is to keep the effects of lying on your PR team and general performance to a minimum. Dealing with the pathetic liar. Regarding the pathetic liar, their main goal is to get along with others and stay out of trouble. They do this by telling lies to win over their co-workers. People like this tend to follow everyone else's thoughts and are afraid to say what they think or take the lead. Their views are often all over the place. Because they tend to overestimate their skills and take on more than they can handle, they have a lot of reasons why they can't do a good job. Even though their lies can hurt, they are generally the least dangerous dangerous kind of liars and are easier to deal with. To stop this kind of liar, you can give them written reports or ideas before meetings. Ask for proof that tasks have been done. Ask for examples and ask them to explain sudden changes in opinion. Giving them approval to go against group norms often makes them less likely to make things up. When you take these steps, the pathetic liar will often tone down their lies and exaggerations, but handling the situation with care and caution is important. Managing the Narcissistic Liar Navigating the complexities of a narcissistic liar in the workplace involves addressing their insatiable need for attention, even if it means perpetuating falsehoods that shield them from accountability. Rooted in ego rather than reason, they adamantly avoid admitting errors, hindering opportunities for team growth. Presenting as charismatic individuals, they revel in success, yet quickly cast blame and criticism. Detecting their manipulative behaviors, like scapegoating and crafting elaborate excuses is crucial. Entrusting them with leadership spells frustration, as their refusal to shoulder responsibility makes them more harmful to a team than pathetic liars. Effective management demands clear communication through checkpoints, simple accountability, preemptive deadlines, structured reviews, and occasionally direct confrontation to instill some semblance of responsibility while constantly verifying their claims due to their inherent dishonesty. Dealing with the sociopathic liar in the workplace. Regarding workplace deception, sociopathic liars are the most damaging, routinely spinning lies without remorse or reason. Unlike pathetic liars who seek approval or narcissistic liars who craft tales to protect their image, sociopaths lie simply because they can, devoid of conscience. Sociopathic liars disregard societal norms against dishonesty and exploit others for their gain, fueled by a distinct lack of empathy and moral compass. Brain scans suggest suggest that their physiological makeup differs from those with a conscience, often stemming from hereditary factors and childhood neglect. These individuals thrive on causing confusion, enjoying chaos, and relishing in superiority derived from their deceit. Their actions can swiftly derail public relations efforts and team dynamics. Employing honesty, rationality, and humility is advised when confronting such liars. Documentation and composure are key when managing them. As as their schemes thrive on confusion and discontent. Exposing their lies publicly can be effective in curbing their destructive tendencies. By valuing moral courage, setting an example of honesty, fostering ethical discussions, and championing honesty as a core value, ethical public relations managers can effectively counteract the damage inflicted by various liars, ensuring that truth and integrity remain at the heart of communication efforts. In the complicated web of 
human behavior, figuring out the different kinds of liars is like trying to find your way through a maze. This investigation gets to the heart of how people interact, from how to read subtle nonverbal cues to the complicated dance between words and goals. As we learn more about the many different parts of ethics, our view of it grows to include the murkier areas of lying, chaos, and trouble. This complicated dance between good and bad forces shows how important it is to deal with the darker parts of human nature, which ultimately makes us more committed to moral ideals. In this world of liars, different types of people show up, each needing a different moral reaction. When we talk to the pathetic liar, we must find a balance between kindness and responsibility to help them find a more honest way to live. With their complex web of attention-seeking and self-preservation, narcissistic liars force us to be alert, honest, and consistent. The sociopathic liar is the most dangerous type of liar. You must use a mix of truth, logic, and resolve to stop them from hurting you. As guardians of honest communication, we can use these insights and ethical tools to find our way through the maze of lies while staying true to our word and letting the light of the truth guide us. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.